I'm Jennifer Brown, Extension Agent for the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service in person and Granville County Centers. Previous programs within Family Consumer Science included a wide spectrum of program areas from financial management, gerontology or aging, textiles, parenting and child development, helping with the senior health insurance information program, weatherization of homes, housing, energy conservation, mold, mildew, testing for radon, as well as dealing with the expanded food nutrition education program and our extension homemakers. In 2014, the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service went through a strategic planning process and they came out with three program areas and they decided to focus their resources where they felt that our organization was most needed. And those three areas are agriculture, 4-H youth development, and food. Within each of these program areas, there could be a variety of different programs, workshops, or services that our organization could offer. Also along with that strategic plan, they went to a base staffing model, which meant that every county office would have a uh, funding for a full-time ag agent, a full-time support staff, a full-time 4-H agent, and a half of an FCS agent. And any of these individuals could also serve as the county extension director with those specific subject matter program responsibilities. There might be other additional ag agents allowed based upon the needs of the county as well as funding allocated. So moving forth, the FCS program uh, was then in 16 split between person and Granville County with myself serving as the FCS extension agent in both counties and it was our goal to continue moving forward in the best way that we could to improve the lives of children youth families and our communities with the main focus being food and that could involve food security and food safety food preparation, food preservation, and just food as it related to the overall health and chronic disease risk reduction, as well as possibly using food along with financial management, such as budgeting for your food or learning how to shop on a budget. But our food focused programs continued in a wide variety of areas. We offered the Safe Plates program, which is our food safety certification program that we offer to the food establishments in the counties to get certified and meet all of the environmental health regulations. We would provide information and possibly workshops about canning and freezing, as well as just answering the day-to-day -day questions that people have throughout the canning season. We would offer education programs to the schools to the senior centers, to the housing authority, and to any other groups that requested them. And it might be using our Steps to Health program. We would go and do cooking manners, which are grocery store tours. We would offer food prep with our Cook Smart, Eat Smart programs, as well as just once a month since 2014, we have been offering Lunch and Learns. A variety of different workshops focused on nutrition, health and wellness, as well as chronic disease reduction. Throughout that time, we have offered a variety of different programs that might be somewhat lengthy. Our Eat Smart, Move More program, which is a 15 week program, and our Give Your Heart a Healthy Beat program, which is also 15 weeks. But our main food focus programs have been with uh, food safety, nutrition and health, as well as whenever requested, helping out with local food initiatives, food preservation and canning programs, as well as reaching out to the schools or any different communities in the area that might be interested in having a gardening and what to do with the garden once it is uh, grown and harvested. Throughout all of that, we have utilized a variety of different curriculum within the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service, as well as elsewhere. Back in 2016, I became nationally certified for the National Diabetes Prevention Program, 
And that is a program that we've been running every year with, uh, in collaboration with the Person County Health Department. And in fact, our program is recognized nationally as a uh, fully recognized program with the Centers of Disease Control. We have offered the Eat Smart, Move More, Way Less program in person, as well it is now available online virtually. We have trained five different volunteers to take part in our Extension Master Food Volunteer Program. We currently have uh, four individuals still helping with that program. They help by um, offering assistance when we're doing our food programs, whether it's teaching the workshops themselves or teaching components of it, just lending an extra hand, helping with food prep, or even setting up a booth at a local health fair and possibly doing a cooking demonstration. Other programs and curriculums that we've used has been the Med Instead of Meds program, which is our Mediterranean diet six week program. Our Steps to Health program has a nine week component for children in the second or third grade. We also have an older adult program with the Steps to Health curriculum called Take Control. And that is an eight week program that we have initiated with our local senior center, as well as the um, Roxburgh Housing Authority. Serving as a cross county area agent since 2016, there have been many challenges. Part of it has been reaching all of the different target audiences. We have helped with the county needs assessment and the county health assessment that has been conducted by the health department. So we've tried to target specific areas and specific groups that have shown to be high risk for certain chronic diseases or just being at high risk for um, you know, aging issues, obesity, a variety of different things. And we have increased our marketing efforts to the community through um, weekly newspaper articles in both the Roxburgh Career Times and Oxford Ledger. We have um, a weekly five minute segment on the Roxburgh radio station, as well as just uh, paying for different advertisements with our flyers from our different programs sending out church bulletins to a variety of different churches in the community, as well as just going and doing presentations in front of a church or in front of a local civic group to get the word out about our programs. But being cross county has required extra time for reporting in both counties. There has been some scheduling issues, but we have tried to make sure that we are utilizing our uh, technology as well to make sure that both counties and administrative assistants are aware of where we're going to be and in which office we're going to be at. But sometimes there can be a lack of contact uh, comparative to what there used to be. You know, we always used to be in the office, always readily available. Now it could be that we're out in the community teaching a program or we're in the other county. But we've tried to find ways to deal with this and to um, continue with the cooperative extension method of high tech, high touch. Looking for new funding streams, whether it's through grants through the FCS Foundation at NC State or just uh, local uh, funding resources such as civic groups or, or other initiatives. We have also looked to increase our collaborations. So doing programs with the Person County Health Department, collaborating with other healthcare providers in the community, reaching out to the churches, reaching out to the housing authority and the senior center in both counties too. This has required us to um, say no more than we probably would have liked, but we've been able to utilize more volunteers, specifically our Extension Master Food volunteers, so that we continue to offer a high quality program to both counties. And through all of it, we have continued to stay positive because change is not always bad. And we've gotten to serve a lot more areas in both communities and reached a lot more clients than we have ever reached before. And in doing so, we've had to continue our partnerships with the community as well as just with individual volunteers. So in the community, the FCS Extension Agent has served on the Healthy Personians Committee out of the Health Department in Person County, as well as the Working on Wellness Coalition with the Granville Vance Health Department. 
I have also served as a member of the Student Health Advisory Council, as well as a member of the County Wellness Team offering programs and support to county employees. I have continued to offer programs as well as serve as a member of the Family Self-Sufficiency Committee out of the Roxburgh Housing Authority, as well as um, serving on the Chronic Disease Action Team with the Health Department to focus our priorities to line up with the community health assessments that have been conducted. Our volunteers that we have utilized have been our Extension Master Food Volunteers that we have, as well as we have members in Person County that are part of our Extension Community Association, otherwise known as ECA, and in Granville County, we call them the Extension Volunteer Association. These individuals have worked tirelessly to help provide services to our local communities, as well as they have participated in a variety of district and state programs and initiatives out of the North Carolina Extension and Community Association. Some of the helpful resources that we have utilized have been the National Extension Association of Family and Consumer Sciences. This is a uh, professional development organization that I am a part of, that I've attended the state as well as national conferences, as well as have offered and taught workshops at both levels too. I have had the pleasure of attending the North Carolina conference, uh, affiliated conference out of the American Association of Family Consumer Sciences, as well as I continue to receive resources, newsletters, and materials for from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services and the North Carolina Eat Smart, Move More initiative. In the future, I hope to continue to offer a high quality program within Family Consumer Sciences, offering um, nutritional webinars, helping continue to provide help and support for the community health assessments that are conducted every few years and using the needs that are found within that assessment to continue to adapt and change our program areas as needed. I hope to continue to offer more integrative programming with my fellow extension agents, as well as with other family consumer science extension agents and our volunteers across different subject matters. But overall, our focus will continue to be on health and wellness, utilizing food. We will continue to offer some virtual programs in the future, but we do hope to continue to get back to our face-to-face -face programmings. And throughout all of it, we have built more collaborations and partnerships, and we will continue to build upon them. We hope to have better use of our marketing materials as well as social media. We are currently on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Our handle is at Person Granville FCS. So you can check us out on our social media resources to follow or like us or subscribe to our pages. And if you have any suggestions of how we can continue to work smarter and not harder and to help better serve the clients of both Person and Granville counties, we are always welcome and um, willing to, to listen to any suggestions. Hopefully that has given you a brief summary of our Family Consumer Science Program in both Person and Granville Counties.